Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 174. And in this segment, we're going back to the truck series for our next race at Texas Motor Speedway. It's the long one, the Silverado 350, not kilometers, but miles, because they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. So, congratulations, Tiburon. Uh, let's get through this again. Again, I don't care. I can easily make up that 2,000 fans. So here we go to the truck race. Good evening, race fans. EA Sports welcomes you to the Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Silverado 350K. The narrow groove here at Texas makes passing difficult. It'll be up to these NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series drivers to choose their spots carefully and wisely along this very difficult quad oval track. We're only moments away from the start of the race. Truck Racing Texas style is coming up next. All right, so I'm going to be starting sixth in this race. I know, I didn't get a pole in a truck race. What the fuck is this? I don't know either, to be honest. But um, hopefully I'll still do well in the actual race, because that would be nice. So we've gone to three versions of the same track. <laughs> in three segments, so uh, hooray, because we started at Kansas, then we went to Charlotte, and now we're at Texas, so away we go. 58 laps at Texas, which is definitely not uh, one-fourth of a 350-kilometer distance. Just tell you that right now. So, hooray. So, of course, first things first is get on the bottom without causing a major accident, which I looks like I'm going to be able to do. Also, I have to remember, turn three entry here is one of the more difficult ones, so I have to be careful, very, very careful with that. As I have to be very careful with this fucking three-wide situation. How did that not end in a crash? I know Ace hit the wall, and we kind of made some light contact, all three of us, but still, Jesus. Oh, fuck. There it is. All right. I was wondering when that was going to happen. There it, it happened. Ah, huh. okay. Well... There goes that. Now, how's this race going to go? Am I actually going to be able to do it quick? Or is this going to be a, uh, a Kansas? Well, it's going to be a Kansas if I keep fucking up turns two and three. Just settle down, try to get a rhythm here. You gotta remember, I'm not driving the cobbler, so I have at least some stability in my truck. I also need to not do that. I need to actually be on the bottom lane for these turns, you know? Probably should try entering a little lower. Three, well, yeah, 350 miles is okay for a truck race. It's just that, you know, this race is billed as a 350 kilometer race, but uh, was not programmed as such in this game. It's like that one Michigan truck race in uh, Dirt to Daytona where it's 400 miles for some reason, which is the exact same length as the Cup race at Michigan. How they managed to do that, I don't know, but meanwhile, we're going three wide here for sixth, okay. Just a, that was a very nice casual double overtake. I'll take that. More of that, please. He's defending, he's defending, he's pinching me. Slow it down a little more than I needed to just to be safe. Don't want to understeer up the track and into them. Uh, there we go, back up. I say back up. Up into the top five. Not back up, this is my first time in the top five in this race. You know, how good is the AI in this game? I don't know. They're pretty good. It varies from track to track. In terms of, like, pace. Some tracks, they're really fucking quick. Some tracks, like, uh, Darlington and 
IRP in the trucks. Oh, shit. Well, that was my fault. I decided to, uh, bump. Just give him a little, little friendly bump down the front straight, and that, well... <laughs> It didn't end so friendly. That has something to do with the copyright, except how do you copyright length? Slater. Alright. Well. Oops. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about that is oops. As Harry puts in the, it does the 50-bit uh, cheer, a very huge accident. So, restart, lap 12, just calm everything down for a moment, regroup and get back to racing. At least with this game's caution system, he didn't actually lose any positions, except the one that I took from him. Not the length with the name of the race, but it's called the Silverado 350K in the game. Like, there's nothing that would have... Uh, it's not like a, well, we can't really make this to 350k, it's just, it's a mistake on their part, making this 350 miles as opposed to kilometers. Like I said, it was just a, it was just an error on their, on the developer's end of making this race the incorrect length, that's it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Turn and left, and we're up to third. Once I got my shit together, I've actually been moving my way up the field pretty well. This is America, we see an Imperial system, so miles it is. Yeah, except there's other truck races that are advertised for kilometers, and those are correct, so... This one's just the odd man out. I don't, know, I don't fucking know. Plus, the Phoenix races have always been uh, measured in kilometers. And those are correct. Even the cup race. Just a, uh, it's supposed to be a joke. I know, but I had to ruin your joke, okay? Meanwhile, Hamilton going to the lead. JK, here I come. We're gonna have another epic showdown between myself, Bobby, and Quapple. Like at, uh, what was that, Vegas, I think? had that really, really good race. Dad doesn't like it when they use kilometers instead of miles. Why? Oh, did Quabble just blow up? I swear I saw smoke coming out of his truck. No, okay. I guess I'm just seeing things also. Sorry, Bobby. Whoopsie. Oh, damn it. Way, way too wide. And closing on Bobby way too quickly. Without being able to make a move. Because defensive Bobby is activated. Because he can't do the conversion. Eh, that could be. I mean, I can't do it. I know that. Like, I can't do that conversion in my head. Also, I just ruined Bobby's race. Whoopsie. I just know it's 62 miles to 100 kilometers. That's about it. Or something like that. And I only know that because I've seen, like, you know, like reviews of cars and they show off a 0 to 62 test, which would be a 0 to 100k test. So, eh. Uh. See if I can catch up with Trav here. Still got 
ten, nine and a half laps till uh, halfway. So, at least another 10, 11 laps on these tires. Damn, Quabble's fast. And I'm bad. Looks like Hamilton's recovered to fourth place. From what I can tell in my mirror. Kind of learned my lines a little bit better now. Around here. Also, I have to remember most of the time, by most of the time, pretty much ever, all the time, uh, I'm going to lose a few s seconds in pit lane. Because my picker sucks, or either that or my entries are just really, really slow. Which, granted, they are, but still. Like, I'm running pretty much even laps with Quapel here. Like, I think I've gained a tenth on him in the past four laps. Ooh. Honestly, it looks like the only place I gain time on him is at heading into turn one, basically at top speed. Down the front straight. And a little bit down the back as well. So I have the top speed advantage, and that's about it. That was a wide entry. Surprised it didn't run as wide around the corner as I did there. is going to hinder me now in my chase for the lead. You know, here comes Hamilton and whoever's running in third. If it's Carl, we are going to have a repeat of a uh, Vegas. Literally the same four people battling for the win. Oh, here comes the uh, back marker, or back markers. Well, they're back markers now, but the uh, undercutters, that's it. That's what I call them pit lane. Yeah, she wants me to touch a square D. I think that is Carl running in third. Although I'm seeing a little yellow on the truck. Maybe it's uh, his teammate Jean Wood. Can't really tell from this far away. Not enough pixels for me to uh, distinguish it. Although I'm pretty sure it's Carl. Alright, halfway lap. Again, gonna go a couple extra laps because of that caution. Try to even my tire wear. Well, that happened. Oh, yep, that's definitely Carl. I can see the red on his hood. And his roof. It's the same four. Coincidentally, I think top four in points as well. Oh god, we understeering off a of two now. Like mad style. Holy shit.
and try to go at least a couple more laps, but goddamn. Car lost the flip. You off. Clearly. Easy, easy. There we go. Well, and fucked it. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, Carl's pitting. So he's the first of the top four to blink. Of the big four. <laughs> Shut up, me. I say the big four like I don't have a 500 point lead. About that. Alright, fuck it, I'm going in now. Oh, slow it down, 70, 70, okay. Barely got it under the speed limit. We good. So let's get our four fresh tires, full tank of gas, and see if I can win this thing. I love that angle. Just concrete. And away we go out of the pits and... Yeah, definitely lost some time. Always lose time pit lane in the trucks. Always gain like spots in the bush series. But, oh god, almost lapaging these guys. Holy shit, okay. Unsafe re uh, merge. Hello, yeah, Sprague. Where the hell is Carl? That's the guy I need to uh, find since he's already pitted. Don't understeer, thank you. The leader's petting now. The leader's petting now. The leader a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna be in about, I don't know, 6th, 7th place, I think, here. So, uh, a win's gonna be a bit difficult to pull off, I think. Just saying. Ooh, where are you merging? On, clear me, thank you. Alright, so seventh place. Not bad. Considering the time lost. Okay, I don't think McGee here hates me enough to swerve into me. He will block me though. Then again, he's going for a pass on Lester, so you know. He's more going for an overtake than a block there. And I just drive by them both like nothing. Yeah. All right. So back up to fourth. I have 22 laps to uh, pass three truck. Well, pass two trucks while closing a three and a half second gap over the lead truck. There's a chance. Also, the car will just scrape the wall off of two. I saw sparks. I'm not sure if he scraped the wall or he just bottomed out. I don't know, regardless of what happened, that allowed Hamilton to get around him. That swung a little too wide there. It's fine, though. Using all of that grip while I have it. How you do, gentlemen? Gonna take a big risk here. Oh, good thing I lifted, or else that would have been a very bad situation. A very huge accident, if you will. The third, Bobby's gonna block. Whoa, truck's getting loose.
Come on, Bobby, work with me here. Can't let Travis get away. More so than he already has. Outside, there we go, outside, got him. Got, got the runoff two, very good runoff two. Okay, up to second, Cal. Can I catch that 24 truck? In these final 18 laps. Two seconds. Oh, that was way too low of an entry, or early of an entry. The lady at the window asks, what are you? The fuck? Why did she ask that? I'm a... What'd you say? I'm a black man trying to get some fast food. Now hurry up, bitch. Yeah, that's right, you drive a frickin' uh, police car. Oh, a former police car. Or at least a car that looks... that they use in the police force. I don't fucking know what the relationship with your car is. Or the correlation. Clearly, she is, uh... Uh... Suspicious of something, I don't know. Former cop car, okay. Ooh, some sparks from Quapple's truck. Also, the gap's under a second now. Fucking flying, man. Creepy's coming. Not really, police force use Tauruses on your area. Interesting. Go. Half a second. Anyways, the point is, what was your uh, what was your reaction to what are you? No. Continue old skinny ass dude. Alright. Hello Travis, remember me? Yes he does. I'm I'm putting that one all on Travis there. Holy shit. That could have ended in a very huge accident. Luckily it did not. I uh, just said I'm not a cop. I drive a cop car. I see. Dang. I was kind of hoping for something more hilarious, but... I don't know. More hilarious than maybe racist. Except not actually racist. Shut up, me. Just dig this hole deeper and deeper. If you look inside, it's pretty obvious. Oh, she was black too? Oh, okay. Well, damn. Guess that eliminates that part of the joke. Anyways, as I continue to dig this hole deeper for myself,
I am, uh, desperately trying to hold off Travis here. I haven't been able to pull away. Got, like, a truck length on him. Well, I did. Until I entered turn three. Oh my god, that was bad. I'm choking. We still have eight laps to go. And that's as close as you can get to the wall without ever touching it. Hot glue your laptop to the metal plate. Yes, do it. This is not going to be an easy win. As both left side tires get, uh, show up as worn at the same time. Very good. Put it in a center console. Badly need one. Yeah, that would be nice. God. That was a r another really sketchy three and four. Seems that our boy Travis here ain't, ain't afraid of no spiders. So he's staying right on my tailgate. Starting to lose grip. Who's number 24? Travis Quapple. You know, that guy with the name that's pronounced like 15 different ways. Just because of the V. Also, um,. I, I see another uh, issue uh, getting closer very quickly, and that is the square D. This might turn into a three-truck battle for the win. Holy shit, Travis. Look at him fucking try to make them outside moves. And here's Bobby. He's caught up to the back of us. All right. Here we go. It's fucking on now. Oh, no. It might be off. Oh, oh, oh. A little touch. Very, very, very light touch. Got away with that one. Oh, boy. All right. Final lap. White flag. Who's going to win it? One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank, etc., etc. Here comes Bobby, the inside of Travis. Alright, I gotta get a really good turn three entry here. That was a really good turn three entry. Just when I needed it most. Oh, I touched the apron. Understeering off the exit. Bobby got me loose. Oh, and Travis got it. Oh, alright. Oh, man. I barely clipped the apron going around three and four. It made me understeer a bit, so I had to lift on the exit at four. That gave Travis just enough momentum to get alongside and pass me. Oh. Huh, okay. Well. There's that. Not even an F. That was that was a really good finish. I don't even care that I didn't win that. That was good. Zero point or point zero one nine is the margin of victory. Damn. <laughs> I, I ain't even mad. That was really good. I did choke it just slightly, but it's fine. 
it's fine. Just another classic uh, Atlanta slash Texas slash Charlotte winner. Like barely gets, yeah. Person who wins the race makes a move on the outside off of turn four. So we get the opposite after that very very near uh, or that very very close victory at uh, Vegas I get the very very close second place here at uh, Texas so hooray oh great Martinsville next I'm not looking forward to that but after that race here are the updated point standings oh yeah that's right I had that one race where I finished uh, I, I like Got spun on the final lap and ended up last. I, rem I remember now. So my point lead's only 385 over Kvapel, but still, that's a very large point lead, so hey. And don't have to look at the trophy case since I didn't win this race, but that will conclude this segment. So next time, we'll go to Martinsville and hopefully not die and crash everybody. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that.